stop on a dime because we're and thank you for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. Guard spots filled by Cunningham and Ivy. John Collins is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Wiseman in at the five spot. And for Phoenix, the post pairing, it's Durant along with Ayton. Out on the wings, it's Booker and Akogi. And it's MP in at the one spot. One thing we expect to see a lot of here tonight is quality ball movement, Steve, from these two pass-first teams. It should be fun. It should be. I love the way they share it. But with all the passing, I think ball security will be a factor here. More movement means more opportunities for a steal. And it's sent back by KD. The drive by MP. Pass to KD. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. KD's got his second bucket of the night. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Ivy against Booker. And it's Aiton with the rebound. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters, and that led to some big-time rejections. This was their game plan going in. Make shooters uncomfortable by challenging every possible shot. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Now, here's MP. Really played well against Sacramento in his last outing. A nice shot by Katie. And you're so used to seeing Durant initiating the offense, but right there, he sets the screen and rolls with a purpose. Cunningham against MP. Cunningham, again the miss by the Pistons. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. The defender made him change his shot. Still got it up with the double clutch, but that's not what his coach was looking for. And he drives in, and Cunningham with the slam. Such a tough matchup. Cunningham can pass or score out of the pick and roll. And GA, in your opinion, what's the main order of business when you look at the first-year Pistons coaching staff? Kevin, for me, it's they got to clean up the foul. It's often a problem for young teams, but... They have the quickness and size to stay in front of people and just force contested shots. Booker against Ivy. Cunningham for three. And it's Durant with the rebound. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Cunningham. Bank shot. No good. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Yep, that one goes in there. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Pistons trail by 10. Cunningham looking it over. Happy to see that one go in for his second make in five attempts. When the jumpers are falling for Cade Cunningham, it just adds another dimension to this team's offense. Lobbed up there for Durant. Up high to stuff the alley. -oop. And it doesn't even have to be an accurate pass. With Durant's length, you can just throw it up and you know this guy will get it. The Pistons have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. Now, Ivy, scoreless thus far. There's the lob to the hoop, and finish off by Collins. This guy is a high flyer, I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. And here is MP. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. They had been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. 
And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Their last encounter was in Detroit. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Cunningham outside over MP, and it's off the back rim. No good. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Here's Cunningham. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Cunningham's got his third bucket of the night. Amazing body control by Cunningham. Staying with the shot. Here's MP. To the middle. Here's Durant. And finished off by Petey. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Drains it from 17 feet out. Cunningham's got eight. I love K. Cunningham taking what the defense gives him, making the most of a mid-range opening. MP passes to Aiton. Good work there as it goes. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. For the Pistons, Durin comes in for Wiseman. That's Thompson and for Jaden Ivey. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. Smitty, even though the injuries limited Kate Cunningham in those first two seasons, his ceiling has to remain very high. It is, G.A., because of his basketball IQ and court vision. They are impressive for his age. He's got the size and athleticism, and plus, he's dedicated on getting better. Shoots from 12. He squares up and sinks it. Cunningham's got it back down to within single digits for Detroit. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Bobbed up there for KD. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. Cunningham with it. Against the Lakers, he was really on his game. Thompson outside. Shot clock at six. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Suns leading by 11. Let's it go from deep. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cunningham. And the power rankings now, second half of February. Interesting to see how some of these teams compare. You look at Miami. They slide down to the third spot, trying not to slide any further. Uh, you know, for the Suns, they just crushed expectations all season long. Only a few people thought they could sustain this level of excellence. But here they are. Fires from 14. No good. Shot missing. Inside, Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. And dunking the ball is just second nature to Aiton. With the right positioning, he's a threat to throw it down. Here's Cunningham. That one falls. Cunningham's got 14. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Phoenix calls timeout. With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. 
Newbanks, he's checked in for Aiton. Bull Bull comes in for Kevin Durant. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Josh Okogi. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Devin Booker. Here's Cunningham. Phoenix grabs the miss. Gordon, the pass to MP. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. There's 154 left to play here in the first. There's the drive, and Thompson sends it back. He has the potential to be an elite NBA defender for a long time. Thompson can guard anybody. Cunningham passes to Duran. And Eric Gordon pulls it down. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. 124 left in the first quarter. MP inside. Working on Bagley. A nice shot by MP. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now here's Cunningham. He's got 14. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. The Pistons making a change here. Stewart's checked in. MP passes to Eubanks. To the inside. And Thompson throws it down. And when he lets the athleticism take over, Thompson can do almost anything. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And the dunk by Bull. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Pistons trailed by 15. Cunningham outside. Passes to Thompson. There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Misses the step back jump shot. Here's MP. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. MP's got six. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye open. And so it's Phoenix out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And we resume our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. And guys, the Sun's pretty much in control here. In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. On the floor for Detroit, we've got Thompson. Weisman's out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then there's Jaden Ivey. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Well, MP in the last matchup against Sacramento played superb basketball. He scored 25 points, and his passing was a cut above with a ton of assists on the night. Those were video game numbers he put up in that last game. Boy, it had the league a buzz. We'll see what he's got in store tonight. Kevin? Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Booker, he's checked in for Phoenix. Collins checked in for the Pistons. MP looking around. Floats one. He kicks to Booker. And another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel. Actively seeking out his teammate. Bobbed up there for Collins. And finish off by Collins. Nice feed from Jaden. You can see him making strides as a playmaker. 
Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. MP passes to Durant, throws down the alley oop slam. A high level score. Once KD gets cooking, it's tough to slow him down. Pistons trail by 21. Now Ivy, nine points last game out. Here's Thompson. Some solid defense from Ayton. The Suns have gone a nice three of three to start this up. Here's MP, outside for KD, back to MP. Bobbed up there for KD. I'll tell you what, Durant takes a lot of contact inside. Defenders try to muscle him, but it doesn't matter. For Detroit, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Heisman and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Here's MP, and the dunk by MP. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Ivy with the bucket. Dialed in from deep. Jaden wants to keep improving this part of his game. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Ivy against MP. Down low, stolen by Collins. And now the fast break, Ivy with the ball. Over MP, out of bounds, it'll go to the Suns. And now to our rookie leader for a look at this month's steal leaders among the young guys. You look at MP, one of the league's best third in steals. And of course, Asar Thompson. The stretch that these two youngsters have had defensively has been great. I mean, they're really, they're like pests. And I mean that in a good way. MP against Ivy. MP, no good. Pistons trail by 21. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. The Suns making a switch here. Madu's checked in. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Durin's checked in. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Here we see the Detroit Pistons drag a franchise known for stifling defense. And going back to back with the bad boys, then the amazing 2004 title team that shut down Shaq and Kobe. When the Pistons have been great, they've had that defense first mentality. Damian Lee, he's checked in for Phoenix. Another possession, another assist. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. Pistons trailed by 21. And here's Ivy. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. And the basket by MP. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Thompson outside, shoots a three. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. 
Detroit. Their next game is at the American okay. Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. And the Pistons making a change here. Mans checked in. Both free throws good from Booker. And you think about the All-Star game last year, Greg, some concern about the lack of competition. Uh, it worries me. Does it worry you? Kevin, it's not ideal. I, I think it's worth asking what could give the players more incentive to win, whether that's money or something else we can think of. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for John Collins. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Here's MP. He's got 10. He feeds it to Ayton. The shot comes out. Collins with some nice D. Detroit's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Pass to Ivy. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. Finding a way to a look. Jane Ivy beats them with his speed. MP with it. He lobs it up, and another assist for him. And that's his 20th assist. Wow. Just doing a great job at orchestrating the offense. Here's Mann. And there's the foul. It'll go on Terrence Mann. That is his... A dominating first half of basketball. And so... 62, the Pistons, 31. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the paint, and, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Why go away from something that's working? Force the defense to prove that they can stop it. Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Evan Booker out there with MP, and it's Aiton in at the center position. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Jaden Ivey's versatility is really impressive. He's someone that scores, rebounds, passes, and defends very well. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you very much. Kay Cunningham was the number one overall pick in 2021, and he's trying to take that next step. He says, I want to do my job. Something I really try to pride myself on is how much I care. And what I care about the most is how I can help the Pistons win. Guys, they are assembling some real talent on that team. Oh, they are. No question, D.A. Thank you. MP passes to Aiton. And you just have to be enticed by the skill set of Aiton. A uh, seven-foot one behemoth who plays with a lot of physicality and skill on both ends. And he's good on the second. And the Pistons with possession. And a wide-open look for Cunningham. Knocks down the three ball. Cunningham's got 17 now. Wow, a deep three from Cade using his accuracy to strike from way out there. Aiton finds Durant. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Durant. And that's 12 points for MP. For Detroit, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Now, here's Cunningham. 17 points in the game. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Kevin Durant. If you're Cunningham, keep going inside. Good things will happen. 
two shots. And so Cunningham nails both of them. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Now MP. He's got 12. Oh, Aiden in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. I love the play call. Uh, Aiden's a well-coordinated athlete. You know he has the reach. Give him a chance to go up and get it. And here's Cunningham. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And there's the call on Durant. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Here's Cunningham. Aiton with the block. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. A Kogi misses. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Detroit Pistons. Unloads from 13. And he comes up with the deuce. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. And he makes that one. Aiton's got 16 points. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiton. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. The Pistons working the ball around now. Here's Weissman. They get it back. Doesn't go that time. The Suns have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. A nice shot by MP. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Cunningham inside. Phoenix. Covered by MP. DeAndre and there's Phoenix. the call on DeAndre. And that'll be his third foul so far. Thompson, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. Thompson. Thompson outside. Right at the free throw line. Rebound by the Suns. Durant's got his fifth rebound in this one. On the wing, MP. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Back to Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Cunningham outside. 11 feet away, and Durant sends it back. The wingspan of KD makes it so easy for him to get to shots like that. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Cunningham against MP. And yes, it's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got seven points here in this quarter. This is why K. Cunningham was selected number one. Such a special talent. Here's MP. He's got 16. And then Durant with the jam. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. That's a two from Cunningham. And Detroit again with the bucket. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. MP with it. To the paint. And again, another assist. 25 assists. What an unselfish performance. He has been a sensational playmaker. Cunningham kicks to Thompson. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Durant. That's who's checked in for eight. And a switcher also for Detroit. Jalen Duran. He's checked in for Wiseman. Shot clock at two. Ivy. From outside, off the mark. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. 
MP up top. Ivy defending. Ivy against MP. And the pass to Medu. Rebound, Detroit. Thompson looking for an opening. Kicks to Ivy. Cunningham on the wing. Lobbed up there for Collins. Cunningham finds Collins. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Bull Bull. He's jacked in for Phoenix. Beal comes in for Devin Booker. And a switcher also for Detroit. Bagley, he's jacked in for John Collins. MP against Cunningham. And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Here's Cunningham, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. And a switcher also for Detroit. Mann's checked in. Cunningham against MP. Down low, and power down the jam. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Detroit's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Cunningham on the wing. Covered by MP. Chalk up two there. Cunningham's got 14 points here in the second half. Excellent footwork and handles. Getting Cunningham right around the defender. Now, here's MP. 16 points for him. Eubanks, no good. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Now, MP. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And the dunk by Bull. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Pistons. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got four rebounds in this game. MP passes to KD. Back to MP. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal. I mean, even from over Second here, you can foul. see that one pretty clearly. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Suns? Smart ball handling from them in this one. Pass it around to get ahead of the defense and put it in the hands of ready shooters. And they've also played exceptionally well in the paint tonight, taking advantage of their opportunity to work inside. Back to MP. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. And, well, Detroit shooting around 44% in this third quarter. Mann passes to Thompson. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Detroit. MP dishes the ball. Kicks it out to MP. Six on the shot clock. And it's Beal in the corner. And here is MP. He's got 19. They shoot again. And he lays it up and in. MP's got 11 here in this quarter alone. 
They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Gordon against Bogdanovich. It's off. And so it's the Phoenix Suns way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be back with you shortly. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And on the floor for Detroit here in the fourth. We've got Isaiah Stewart, and it's Hayes in at the point guard position. MP passes to Medu, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? The Pistons shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Here's Mann, covered by Lee. Jacks up a three. The shot's good from Hayes. Hayes. No hesitation off the catch. Killian Hayes looking assertive, taking these kinds of shots. Here's MP, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Hey, Smitty, in the playoffs, it's rare for an eighth or a seventh seed to make it out of the first round. But what about a five-game series for just those kinds of matchups? You know, one against eight and two against seven. You know, it wouldn't be bad, Kevin. We had those type of series when I first came into the league, but I don't think they would change since we have the play-in tournament. I think rounds one, two, the conference finals, and the NBA finals will stay seven. And the dunk by MP. He's really cooking right now. He's having a phenomenal half. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Hayes. Pass delivered. That's tipped, and he gets it back. Just four to shoot. Here's Mann. They grab their own miss. Stewart passes it, delivers. Detroit, no good that time either. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. MP, no good. I mean, that can happen to anyone, but it's ugly every time it does. Yes, getting a little ahead of himself on that play. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And another assist. Another possession, another assist. You know, Greg, he's sharing the ball well, hitting his guys in their spots. He's with it. All right, the NBA already has a team in Canada, a G League team in Mexico. Could we see a team in Europe, you think, Steve? Kevin, we've had games in Paris, London recently. It'd be really hard travel-wise on these guys flying all the way over to Europe. Now, here's MP to the inside. Eubanks, no good. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Lee kicks to MP. Drives to the hoop. And the rebound goes to the Pistons. Here's Fontecchio. And it's blocked. Out of bounds. Okay. Pistons ball as Detroit... <laughs>
now MP. Pass to Medu. Shot clock at five. MP and Cunningham with the block. Oh, the length of Cunningham. A real advantage on both ends of the floor. It's the three-point bomb. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 37. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. MP against Cunningham. MP, no good. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Suns. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And in the win-loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for MP. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. Here's MP and the dunk by MP. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Cunningham passes to Mann. Gordon against Bogdanovich. Here's Mann. And Bull sends it back. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Bull uses it to perfection to block shots. Here's Bogdanovich, and he hits it just before the shot clock expires. The assist, Isaiah Stewart. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. MP up top, and the dunk by Bull. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. So it's the Suns winning easily here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Great game. Does your performance in a win like that silence some of the critics out there? I'm not really sure what you're talking about, Nate. You know, I don't <laughs> worry about the outside voices or my personal performance. Mm -hmm. You know, our only focus here is on the team, getting better and making the playoffs. You know, today we were able to buckle down and accomplish our goals, so I'm happy. I ain't buying it. So you didn't <laughs> take any extra pleasure in your shooting performance tonight? <laughs> Man, I took extra pleasure in getting this win, Nate. <laughs> My numbers don't matter, man. <laughs>